Hello and welcome back to Penetration Testing, a hands-on introduction to hacking. In this video we're going to be installing Nessus Vulnerability Scanner into Kali Linux and we're going to be installing Hyperion Script. Uh, what it is, it's an encryption program to bypass antivirus. We'll also be uh, downloading and installing uh, Evil Evasion which generates payloads, uh, payload executables that you can use to bypass common uh, antivirus uh, solutions as well. So we'll go ahead and we'll start with the Nessus install. So we can go and open up Firefox. Alright so we can go to www.tenable dot com forward slash products forward slash nessus dash home and hit enter <coughs> so here we can register for an activation code for Nessus, which we're going to need to uh, to download and install the the updates and the, the plugins that Nessus uses to recognize vulnerabilities. So keep this page and uh, you know register whatever. Use a fake name, crappy email, so you don't get spammed with a bunch of stuff, and uh, and we'll go from there. So I'll fill this in right now. click register and there we go so now that I've registered for uh, for Nessus home which is the free version I can go ahead and download so we'll click download here in the bottom right and we're gonna click for Linux and if you're running the 32-bit version of uh, Kali get the 32-bit version if not uh, we can just run uh, the 64-bit click agree Click download, save file, and as we're going through here, it's done. So we can close our browser, and from here, what we can do is we can just open up a terminal, and if we issue the command ls, we should be able to uh, we'll cd into our downloads and then we'll ls again which will show us what's in the download folder you can see that we have nessus here dot uh, dot deb so what we can do is uh, we'll issue the command dpkg dash i and we can do the first letter of, um, of our package here called nessus dash six and if we hit the tab key it will auto complete so from here we'll just hit enter and we'll let Nessus take its course and install. The the install may take a little while. Um, it does go through um, the process of uh, installing the plugins, the various plugins, uh, and and so on. So let it run its course. Okay. Well, in that case, it didn't take too long this time. So, all right. Now that we have our prompt back we can issue the command service nessus d start and that's going to go ahead and it's going to start nessus so from here we can close out and open up a browser and we're going to go to localhost and the port that Nessus run on that runs on is 8834. Oh, my number lock's not on. 8834. We'll hit enter. Uh, see, bad request. So I need to have https forward slash forward slash localhost. And it's going to tell you that your connection is not secure. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to click advance, and we're going to add an exception. We'll confirm our security exception. 
we'll click continue uh, it's just gonna tell you welcome to Nessus uh, you can read all this stuff if you like it'll just tell you a little bit about itself um, and then from here we can actually create a user alright so I'm gonna go ahead and pick a username and uh, I'll create a password and click continue and I'm gonna say well not now and then it's gonna ask for your activation code so I'll log into my email real quick I'll grab the activation code and I'll put it in be back in one second okay so now that I've copied my code I can paste it inside here and click continue now this code is a one-time use so if you uninstall Nessus and you go to reinstall it you're gonna have to re-register it on the first page that we were at and get it sent to you again it won't uh, it won't work a second time around so it's gonna go ahead and it's gonna download all of the plugins that Nessus uses like I said for the um, for vulnerability uh, awareness and stuff like that so in the meantime um, we can in install some additional software uh, the Ming C compiler uh, we'll need to install uh, the cross compiler so we can compile some uh, C code to run on uh, our Microsoft uh, Windows system uh, we can go ahead and we can do that by we'll minimize this browser and uh, we'll open up a terminal again and we will issue the command apt get install ming w dash w64 it's a little bit different from the command in the book but the command in the book doesn't work anymore so we'll go ahead and hit enter I already have it installed uh, it's gonna prompt you with a, like a Y and N like a yes and no hit the Y and then hit enter and uh, the main cross compiler will go ahead and install um, another thing that doesn't line up in the book is Hyperion the uh, the encryption program to bypass the antivirus uh, that's another thing that I couldn't get to uh, to actually uh, download through the wget so what I did is I just opened up a browser a new tab and I typed in uh, pretty much the link that they gave me for uh, for null security uh, net I said forward slash tools forward slash binary and I hit enter and you can see that Hyperion is now version 1.2 so we can go ahead and click that link and we can click save file it might be set on with, uh, open with so click save file click OK and we can go ahead and we can close this tab now and we'll b minimize this uh, this browser alright so we can go ahead and move our way to the downloads folder and as you can see here's the file Hyperion 1.2 that we downloaded in the book it's uh, downloaded to the root directory so I'm just gonna go ahead and move the file to the root directory just for command sakes later to, to follow the book more precisely so I've moved it to the root we can step back out of this directory and if we issue PWD we can see we're in root uh, issue ls and there's the file we downloaded so we're gonna go ahead and we're going to unzip Hyperion and now that that's done we can now compile it with the cross compiler that we installed in our, our last step there and like the last step the compiling command in the book does not work so it's a little bit of a different command it's I686 dash w64 dash uh, ming gw uh, 32 dash c++ and then the rest of it's pretty much the same Hyperion 1.2 instead of 1.0 um, source uh, cryptor uh, we're going to use the asterisk.cpp to to uh, what it pretty much does is say hey any file with any name with the .cpp extension it's going to use and we're going to output it 
to the name Hyperion dot, oh, dot exe. We'll go ahead and hit enter and give it a second there and it will compile it and it should give us an exe file when we're done. So now that it's done we can issue the command ls and as you can see hyperion.exe is compiled. So our C++ code is compiled and we have a program that we can use later on. So from here uh, hopefully it goes well and we can just follow the book again. Uh, we're going to do uh, evil evasion and that's the one that generates the payloads um, so you can bypass the uh, common antivirus so let's let's see if the wget command works for that okay so I'm back so what I have read online is that this whole framework is no longer supported so I guess it wasn't that great I don't know I've never used it before but this is what I got for for getting it so we're gonna get uh, clone https forward slash forward slash github.com slash uh, feel uh, framework and uh, forward slash uh, feel evasion dot git And hey, something's working for once. So once we figure out, once we configure all our systems here, downloading programs that uh, you know things change so often and so quickly. Uh, once we get everything downloaded and, and installed and all that, the rest of the book is uh, is easy going. It's uh, you know it's common practice so the commands are roughly the same the uh, the way of going about stuff is is pretty much the same way so it shouldn't be as big of a problem as what we're having here uh, we can issue ls again and as you can see here we have the folder so we'll move into that um, and we'll issue ls and we have a setup folder so we'll go into setup and we have so we have a, a program here we can run setup.sh a little bash script so we can do setup.sh we'll hit enter and are you sure you wish to install yes I do Kali Linux 2017 detected so we'll go Y for yes and we will hit enter so we'll let it do its thing and Hopefully it's as easy as that. I don't know, this is my first time going through it as well. So I don't know if it's gonna do anything else from here. Um oh there we go. It's installing wine, thirty two bit, sixty four bit binaries. Um after this installs I'm gonna run you through um Etercap. Uh it's like a man in the middle program, makes your life easy. But uh, before we can start running that, we just have to edit the uh, configuration file. So I'll go through uh, the configuration file for when we use it later on in the in the book. Actually, I should be able to do that right now while it does its thing. I'll just open up another terminal. Oh yeah, we have to do it this way. So we can go to uh, Etsy forward slash Ethercap forward slash um, oh Ether um, and then dot config. I forgot uh, it's we're not going to the directory. We just want to edit the file. So nano, we can go ahead and hit enter, and it opens up the configuration file. So let's make this a tad bigger, a little easier to see. And under privs, as you can see here, I'm going to move down. It says 65534. We're going to change both of these to 0. 0. We're going to come down. 
We'll change that to zero as well. And then there's one more thing that we have to change uh, for using IP tables so that we can uh, we can get the right uh, the right rules for the IP tables. So we'll scroll down, 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 down. All right. So IP chains and IP tables. If you're using IP chains, you can un uh, you can clear off the um, the hashtag before that but if you're following this you're more likely using IP tables so we'll delete the two little uh, pound signs and uh, from here all we have to do now is go ahead and save the file so we can do that with control O we'll hit enter and then control X and it exits the file from, from here we can just close our terminal will let uh, the setup continue running but uh, that's everything for this video in the next one we're gonna set up the Android emulator for uh, for the smartphone attacks and stuff like that later on in the book uh, if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe it helps me out a ton and I will see you in the next video thank you